the barber of Siberia. No, Siberia. Um, I'm not sure. Not one of the good ones. Um, in fact, I was wondering why. Why not did they uh, uh, put this in the program um, yesterday, the other day? It does not. Uh, seeing as there is the war in Ukraine and then um, uh, there's this reluctance to, of course, um, post uh, events put on films for Russian subject actors, filmmakers. Um, Indeed, some of them have been banned in the, the controversy in some places, like tennis, for instance. They're not supposed to go to uh, Wimbledon in some places. They say, okay, if you're not uh, listed under any country, then... Uh, there was also this other media comments, for instance, an article, and I'm sure another circles. There was this uh, take that you can't ban now. Uh, Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, Bobol, and the rest. And that's true. What we should, must, and if you're China, you do whatever you, your tyrant wants. And the increasingly crazy segment, maybe 50% more of the population, which is nationalistic, which is violent, which is aggressive. And it's the same with Russia, it seems. Some polls said 80% support a special operation. Maybe not 80, but if it's 60, it's still serious, disgusting thing. So what you can and must do, civilized world, uh, is ban the likes of Gergiev, or whatever his name is, that conductor who's still with Putin, the <coughs> Sopran, which I understand still she's, she's supposed to sing in Vienna, but then knows there is also a place. You have been here on the side of the divine hunger, you have all kinds of people. <coughs> um, so, I mean, Orban, with the best I understand, he voted against him. So, you have that too. Um, in terms of film, I guess, of course, they have. Um, Giants. Tarkovsky, Andrei Rubio, uh, Stoker. <laughs> Stoker is a movie I have seen when I was, I think, 17 or so. Uh, Pope is pulled at um, it's, it's, uh, magical. I fell asleep in a cinema hall and I said, let's to, to the limit of this brain, what can I do? Um, then um, Moscow doesn't believe in tears, there's so much more. Uh, Mihalkov, some of the early work, um, blind, Blinded by the Sun or something, uh, and a few more uh, wonderful uh, mechanical, unfinished peaceful mechanical piano or something like that, and they were based on Chekhov. Uh, fabulous. Then also I think I've read somewhere that Mihal Kov was a supporter of the regime. Maybe not now, I'm not, I don't know, but let's uh, view, read that. And to end with, so we, we need to see this to glorify as the article in the Times was arguing. We need this art, we need to understand, thinking it's, it's hard though to, to make sense. We have these uh, glorious people in literature, in music, Tchaikovsky, in, 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 in film. And then somehow they produce uh, almost exclusively as uh, political leaders, tyrants, and fools. From Putin to Ivan the Terrible. There are exceptions, uh, Catherine and Wayne, but if we look at the great, you know, we had some late notes that placed on various episodes on, on this on the globe. Uh, 
in, even if it's clearly a, a, an invention, a fantasy. I mean, they have uh, all sorts of uh, uh, black people in, 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 as Ivan. They, they just use creativity to um, <laughs> to a fabulous extent. And it, 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 it translates, it turns out it's good. Um, the connection with reality is uh, then superfluous, maybe still, still, some things are there for <coughs> Catherine the Great was German. Begin with at least, and tends to become, she tends to become uh, Russian. Uh, we're fine. So, speaking of Tchaikovsky, uh, one of the contenders in uh, Khan, which is taking place right now, for the time that it is Tchaikovsky's work. You understand that that does spoke out loudly against the war. So, the film not seen yet, but looking forward to it. Uh, and the attitude, especially so. Yeah, that that's that's one of them. But some are speaking against it, against Putin. Um, it, it, it's still uh, to be seen. I, I looked and saw that the film had mixed reviews, more negative than the. The the one who has the uh, BBC talking movies uh, program uh, was impressed. <coughs> he talked uh, a few days ago uh, on the on BBC, and uh, he said uh, it's uh, a little bit for the film. Now, Jack Fox, he was trying to hide his homosexuality, but and the film is impressive. He said, uh, "Let's see." But so far, it mixed perspectives. So looking forward to see what we think. Leviathan. I'm Adam Information. One of the best films in decades. Russian movie.